Okay, I guess what a lot of people don't realize is that <laughs> there's like a half a dozen or more government programs that get grant money and really millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to help people in financial trouble. Wow, <laughs> this is a real rich uncle, <laughs> your Uncle Sam, that's there to help. And, and it's spread across there in every state. There are different offices, so I can't give you one address You know, for each program. You have to find it locally but there's there's you have to know the name of the program and what to ask for okay <laughs> and there's sites that help you find the local offices but there's many and really the key is if you have financial troubles is contact every one of these programs now they may or may not help <laughs> they may be nice they may be miserable they had a miserable day and you call them up and they're going to yell at you you never know you know? But they're there, they get money, and they get, and the law is <laughs> in the books that they have to help people in financial problems. Now, they have all, everyone has different requirements, and every state has different requirements. So there's no, <laughs> you can't give a rule for everyone. You know? And sometimes it's a state, sometimes it's a county. So it's complicated, but it's one single law that covers all this stuff. Okay, now we're gonna go through them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and here's the first one HUD. That's right. HUD is worried about you not having enough money because if you don't have enough money, <laughs> you can have a home. And HUD wants to make sure everybody has a home, a place to rent or whatever. Like that. So HUD has, they pay counselors. People get grants, these experts about finance, about credit cards, about rent, about mortgages, about buying a house. They get money to help you for free. And they're called HUD counseling. Okay, so if you go to HUD, H U D dot gov, and put in counselors, then you'll see like a map here. You put on your state, and you'll find dozens, literally dozens, depending on what state you are in. Contact one, contact another, contact three, get five working for you if you have the energy. <laughs> but call, that's better than just, I mean, if you don't take calls, then you email. You know, you do whatever you have to do. But the, what you have to do is get them to know you because if they don't know you then you're just a digit <laughs> who cares people want to help people <laughs> so show them you're a person people <laughs> and it's easier for them to help you if we all these people that are there with money programs and all kind of help to help you could help you for like free and give you millions or whatever the hell they have or hang up on you after you say hello and that all depends on you. So you have a lot of control over this. It's not like hiring somebody on Google who's going to get money from you and they're going to be nice to you no matter how you treat them because they want your money. <laughs> These people already have the money. They're getting paid. So you have to be the one that's nice. Okay. So that's a HUD. Okay. Next is a Community Action Agency. And uh, there's a website, communityactionpartnership.com. If you go there, you can put in your zip code and find the agencies near you. Now, these are agencies that set up, I think, back in the 60s. This is from Johnson administration uh, to help people so they don't go into poverty. So they have all kind of programs with there's daycare money. Remember the IDA, those individual development accounts where uh, you you get uh, the banks that give you grants to put money in their bank. <laughs> a little strange. Uh, you put in a dollar, they'll put in five dollars. A lot of that comes from here. They're all over, but this is the main kind of thing they do. Uh, daycare problems, uh, uh, fixing up your home, uh, all kinds of things. So you're in trouble and they have people help you one on one. So you have HUD, you have the community action agencies. Okay, now 211. Okay, 211.org, man, that's supposed to be like the central clearinghouse for all the people who don't advertise on Google <laughs> because they're giving it away. They're giving away money, they're giving away help or whatever. Uh, and it's anything. So it's usually nonprofit organizations and government offices that are set up to solve financial problems and other problems that you have. And it's different every state and it's a little complicated. But you go to 211.org, put in your zip code and start there. And then usually what they're doing, they organize them. When you went, get to their site, whatever state you're in, you'll see something like this. So you have problems with food, housing and shelter, utility assistance, mental health, substance abuse, health care, employment, domestic violence, veterans, legal and tax help, aging and disability and children and families. And that's just the start. <laughs> so it's anything. Uh, I remember looking up the other day, get my uh, people get their sh sidewalk shoveled. 
went in there and there was a, a nonprofit organization that comes and shuffle your sidewalk for free. You know, cool stuff too. And so all kinds of there. So that's another thing. So you have uh, HUD, you have uh, uh, Community Action Agency, 211. Now here, Elder Care Locator. This is for old farts like me. <laughs> Actually, probably 50 and more. We, we, we have something called the Area Office on Aging in every county, um, maybe even more than one in every county. This is a national. If you go to Elder Care Locator, just put that in Google. Make sure you see a .gov. Okay, eldercarelocator.com. They have a hotline and everything. You call them up. Here, 1-800-677-1116. Call them up and say, you know, I'm a senior or will be a senior. And right now I'm only a freshman. I'm only 16. No, <laughs> I was senior, selling a senior book <laughs> and I go around doing talk shows. And I say, it's a book about seniors. And, and the, the the woman who was uh, a young student who was helping me, she said, well, I'm only a freshman. Well, this apply to me. <laughs> so senior care. So all kinds of things. You know, you got to take care of grandma or your grandma. And nobody's taking care of you. Yeah, you need a, a new roof. You need, uh, you know, steps in your or get rid of those steps, you know, so you have a ramp, all kinds of things, healthcare, everything is there. You need to find a nursing home, elder care locator. They're free. They know programs just for seniors. Uh, so you get money to take care of a senior, stuff like that. So that's a, a one stop. Okay, now here, you want to know about the local health department. So uh, every state has a health department. So go to your state department of health. They're the people who, who want to keep you healthy, and that requires money. That requires food. That requires a lot of things that you need when you're running out of money. So you want to find your state department of health. And uh, this is uh, uh, the CDC has a nice list of this, but you could find your state department of health. Just put in. You know, whatever your state in Massachusetts, Department of Health. Make sure it's .gov. You want .gov, okay? So you want to do that. Okay, what else we have? Veterans. Now, there's a neat program for veterans. Man, everything I'm telling you is free. Everything may or may not have money programs for you, but that's right. When you call these offices, don't say, I need a grant because my roof was leaking. You know, whatever. No, no, you don't say money. No, say money. You're going to turn them off because you want to get – you know, friendly with a person that they want to help you. So you say, hey, I need help. I'm in trouble. Okay. I can't do this. I can't do that. I have rain coming in the house or something. I can't feed the kids or uh, I don't know how I'm going to pay rent, whatever. That's what you want to do is, is present the problem. Don't, don't give them your answer. Sure. You would like, you know, Twenty thousand dollars, and you'll solve all your problems. No, they, you know, nobody's going to probably have that, but they have other ways to do that. And you don't know, you don't know what to ask, so you're going to ask the wrong question. So that's why you, you, you don't tell them the answer you want to hear. Tell them the problem that you have, because there are hundred ways of them. They have people on their staff that come out and fix things for you, <laughs> or whatever. So you don't need a grant to fix it. You know, there's too many ways to do it. I mean, there's ways that they pay, they pay people, you know, uh, to do things. So you don't have to get a grant to sell those things or they give money to your landlord so you don't need a money to give it that so it's not a grant it's a transfer payment or whatever they, the government has names for stuff you could never imagine so that's why I never say i need a grant no or, because you just sound like a greedy son of a bitch <laughs> nobody wants to help greedy people but you're in trouble right and it's hard not to think that way because you, you, you you're struggling and when you're struggling man you know we do crazy things uh, and so it's understandable, but try and try to, you know, open your heart a little so they could come in and help you better. And that's what it's about. So you have your uh, veterans associated, uh, the association of County veteran services. Every County has one of these offices that get grants to help veterans get money. And the studies I've shown, they've been big studies about how well these people do it. They get twice as much money for veterans than anybody else. Okay. So they're really good good at this. They're free and they don't take commission of the money you get from the <laughs> government as a vet. They do it all for free. So that's where to start. If you're and all these things are just starting places, you know, because they, and then if anybody can help you say, well, where else can you go? That's the other thing you have to ask these people. Well, where else can I go? Yeah. You know, so make sure you do. Now, the other thing is your elected official, you know, that congressman and the senators and all your state officials that are going to run and knocking on your door for help. Well, 
you have more power now in a couple of weeks before the election than you'll ever have until the next election. <laughs> they want your vote. If they could do a favor. See, what it is, the, the, the elected officials have more power in the system than you or I or anybody else. I mean, we vote, so our tax dollars pay it. But the elected officials vote on the salaries for all the people who are giving away money. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that's right. The bureaucrats want to make the elected official happy. Not so much you and me. It's the elected official because they vote for their paycheck. Yeah, you and I don't. We vote for the elected official. See, it's sort of the thing going downhill. So that's why they want to help you. And they have different phone numbers. It's easier for them to call a, an agency than it is. You have to wait in the front door. You know, they have backdoor phone numbers to all these places to get things done uh, better and faster than you can. Uh, and you don't even know where the hell to ask. So that's why a lot of their staff, and uh, I think most of it in many offices, all they do is help people with problems. Same with me, but I'm charging you. So get the free one first. <laughs> so that's your elected official. Uh, and the commoncause.org, go there and you can put in your address and, and you get all the elected officials, call them, email them, whatever, call them. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, all you have the energy for. Okay, who's next? Who's next on Sports Talk? Okay, this is, uh, well, your job center. And this is a workforce development. I used to leave this off uh, this list, but the more I'm running into, they have money to help people, help people with daycare, help people fix your car, all these kinds of things that stop you from working. See, they want you to get a job, okay? Get off the payroll and start paying taxes to pay their salary. <laughs> so that's what it is. So they have all these other programs besides getting a job, you know, that they are aware of. So the unemployment insurance is there and then now pandemic employment insurance, you know, and, and the training programs are there and all this kind of stuff for you to make more money. So if this is, if you're hurting financially, this is a good place uh, to touch base with because they can help you create money or they have other uh, grant programs to help you solve the problems that you're having. You can't have transportation or, or, or whatever it is. You have to rent two months and you can't go out and get a job because they're going to throw you on the street, right? So those kinds of things. So you go to careeronestop.org and you put find local help. So that's careeronestop.org and find local help. And if you remember, let's go help. I got a whole report on all the stuff uh, that they have in there. I mean, you just can't believe it. I mean, they have things that, uh, programs that will pay half your salary if you don't, if you're not good at this. <laughs> so so you uh, to get a job, they'll pay your employer half your salary while you learn something or, or pay the employer 90% of the salary for the first three months, all kinds of weird stuff you never know about. Okay. So that's right. Now, the other thing, remember, remember libraries, you ever heard that before? <laughs> you hear about those <laughs> those funny buildings? Actually, one of our libraries in Washington D.C. turned into an Apple store. <laughs> the beautiful building. <laughs> That's what's happening to Apple. We have a nice new modern one though. Uh, uh, and, and but they are just terrific. And I think they're more valuable now than ever before, particularly their local library, because you're going to go on Google and try to find something, and you're going to find a billion websites. That librarian knows all the, the, the organizations in your town and what they do and who helps them. People coming to them for questions all the time. That's what they do. And, and they're people. They're not, you, you, we can't use Google because we don't know what to ask Google. <laughs> you don't know what robots think. <laughs> I don't even know what I think. How am I going to know what a robot thinks? <laughs> and that's the problem with using Google. We're thinking robot thinks like us. No, they don't. Uh, and, and that's why it's important. You got a person who answered that question before, you know, how do I, <laughs> you know, you, know you, you get a deposit to get a new apartment or whatever. They know those programs, you know, and that. So use them, call, call them. They have Ask a Librarian. They have another one called Book the Librarian. I don't know now with COVID, maybe they can't. Maybe it's a six foot booking. Uh, and, and to help you, these people are referenced. They know the community, they know resources and things like that. Wonderful people. Don't dismiss them because you have a computer. That's nonsense. Because you have a computer, now you need them more. <laughs> That's right. Because they've read all that crap. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have it. This is your first rodeo, remember? <laughs> Unless you go bankrupt a lot of times or have financial problems every other day, then you start learning the system, right? Uh, so they've been helping people who had financial problems all the time because they come to the library and ask questions, so they know where to go. You know, that's what you want to do. You want to know, so you don't want to hire a doctor. This is their first brain surgery, right? You want somebody who's done that a lot of times. Yeah, so it's the same with finding information. So that's uh, the library. Uh, and, or no, yes, the library. <laughs> and I talked about the queer one. I guess that's it. One, two, three, four, four, six, seven. Yes. That's where, now that's just the start. Remember, just the start. <laughs> start your engines. Everyone you talk to, there's one thing you definitely have to, well, two things, two, two things you want to do. Everyone you talk to, one, be nice. Nice works okay two if they can't help you ask them who else can help who else do you suggest because they've been doing this a lot they're going to know more than you or me particularly me i don't know every city in the country right <laughs> so that's why you, you go to these local people know this stuff and say okay who else may help me so that's the one thing you you're still in the game as, until you run out of sources and that's what you have to do is Ask other people for sources who have a better chance of knowing than you or me.